It's another podcast, another chance for us to tell you stuff. I've been ill actually, it's been Christmas, I've been very well, getting a bit on a bit now, a couple of days, been a bit sick, but I've got great stuff to tell you about, because they're finally going to let me tell you about things that we should have told you about ages ago, even marketing had their way. Now, you may have noticed, if you've been paying attention to our, um, uh, our game, that we had a trailer, a cinematic thing, and it was wonderful, and within that trailer we had a glorious moment. He was short, he was round, he was bouncing on the ground, he had a mohawk and axes. He was in fact a dwarf slayer, a slayer of awesomeness. Well, the powers that be, the clever people, got to us and stopped us putting it in. You don't want to know why, it's a convoluted tale of destruction and death and horror and all that sort of stuff. But he's back. He's short and vicious and brutish, mostly like dwarves. He's got this enormous mohawk, which is orange. Actually made out of pig fat, I sort of scream on that. So what is a slayer? Okay, well let's get the basics. He's a very, very violent dwarf. Doesn't wear much armour, usually carries enormous axes, and chops things up at close quarters violently while drinking. Um, what does that mean? Well, I'm sure Adam's going to come along and fill your head full of mumbo-jumbo words like Malay, DPS, front-loaded, damage-dealing, whatever it is. He basically runs to the front, it's stuff. It's great. It's route one. Even I can play it. Obviously, I'm not Adam Gershowitz. Uh, Adam couldn't make it today, so I'm going to fill in real quick. Um, for those of you that might be a little confused by what Paul was just saying, I'm going to explain it in more coherent game design terms. Um, the Slayer is a melee DPS career. Uh, what that means is that they do heavy damage up close on the front lines of the battle. Um, they can wield axes, they can wield hammers, they can wield a dwarven two-handed great axe. Um, basically, if all you've ever wanted to do is be a tiny ball of destruction, running through the enemy's lines and killing willy-nilly, the Slayer is for you. What's the IP background behind them? Well, to tell you the truth, Slayer's a little bit of a gag, but the upshot is this. You're a dwarf, you're drinking, you're fighting, you're wielding, you're killing. And then something bad happens. The darkness, the guilt, the horror. Something that makes you go, I can no longer take it. And lo, you do take off your armor, and you swear mighty oaths, and you go on a crusade, a, a violent tirade of destruction, where you, as a slayer, are trying to find the biggest, nastiest, most horrible thing that you can fight so that you can die a glorious death so that you can make good on whatever the terrible thing is that caused you to strip naked and show off your big belly. So the question that comes up here is, in a game that uses things like itemization and armor sets to tell the story of your character's progression, what is there for a character that literally begins its life by stripping off all of its armor and running out onto the battlefield to die? And that's one of the major challenges that we faced when we were trying to decide what to do with the Dwarven Melee DPS career. And the team has come up with some really interesting ideas and solutions that are going to be exciting for players to take a look at. Um, obviously the Slayers are going to be able to wear things like you know, big crazy girdles and bracers, torques, big heavy boots, uh, they'll have their two-handed battle axe, they'll have their crazy orange mohawks, crazy orange beards, the Dwarven tattoos. Uh, the Slayers are going to look and feel very unique and we're going to make sure that your character as it progresses really does tell the story of the life of your slayer in the Warhammer world. Of course the problem is that slayers are psychopathic and so they have this naturally um, uh, horrific tendency of meeting things that they think are going to kill them and then by the time they've stopped, paused and the froth's gone out of their beard they find out that they've slaughtered it, killed it, stone dead and thus they become more and more powerful and go on an endless course of utter destruction. Never mind that, they're in our bloody trailer and we should have had them in. They're here, they're gonna be great, you're gonna love them. Slayers for the win. But how do they win? The Slayer uses a mechanic that we call Rage. What that basically means is that when a Slayer enters the battle, his rage begins to build and as he becomes more enraged, he does more damage. As a result, it's in your best interest to kill a Slayer quickly, preferably from a distance, because the longer they're near you, the more damage they're doing to you. Now there is a trade-off here. There is a point at which the Slayer becomes so enraged that he becomes more susceptible to damage. As a result, when you're playing a Slayer, you want to be careful to keep track of just how much rage you've built up, because while you are dealing a ton of damage to your enemies, you will eventually become heavily susceptible to damage yourself. 
We're here to talk about the Chopper. He's a big, mean, green killing machine. He's got great big tusks and huge great big choppers. Two of them usually. This guy is a psychopath. Whereas your black orc is sort of like wrapped in armour and sort of thinking man's green skin, this guy is route one. He wants to close distance really quickly, dash around and chop you to pieces furiously. What Paul's basically trying to say is that the Chopper is the green skin melee DPS career. They want to do as much damage as possible up close. They can dual wield choppers, which are basically crazy green skin swords. They can also use two-handed great weapons to do as much damage as possible, but at the cost of a bit of speed. The more he does it, the more berserk he gets, the more angry he gets, the more he really understands war is in his blood, even the blood on his choppers. In fact, he works himself into such a fury that if he's not careful, he starts hitting things so hard, he forgets that he's getting hit himself. Similar to the way that the Slayer can get enraged on the battlefield, the Chopper has the ability to go berserk. The longer he's involved in a fight, the more damage he deals to his enemies, the more dangerous he becomes. But as he gets into that berserker state, he also starts to take more damage from his enemies. So players that are using the Chopper will need to be mindful of that fact on the battlefield. What does he like? Squishy things. Squishy things what want to fight him. He's the Chopper. He's ace. So that's a really brief overview of the Slayer and the Choppa. Next month we're going to have a much more in-depth look at things like their mastery paths, their actual specific ability sets, and so forth. For those of you that have been waiting for these two careers, we hope that you're as excited as we are to see them finally coming to Warhammer Online, and we'll see you next month. Uh, they're fairly well armored, um, but obviously they're not wearing anything on top. Let me try that again. I know. Well, I'm trying to be less energetic because of Paul. So if I'm supposed to be the counterpoint. Well, don't be. I'm a slayer. I'm depressed. <laughs>